Can you guys see me? Oh. Hi, everybody. Binga Daniel here, and um, I'm really happy I'm here uh, sharing um, some tips with you guys. I'm here live at uh, Drum Coders, and I really want to thank uh, every crew, everybody, especially Mr. Mike, and then um, for this opportunity. So, quick one. Um, you heard me played um, a groove. Probably you are wondering, um, who was it doing, right? Or what is going on here? So um, I'm actually playing uh, an whole time signature groove, right? It's a concept uh, or a groove that I developed myself, you know, in my practice uh, section when I'm having a serious deep uh, practice section. So um, what I'm playing, I don't know, maybe if you understand what I'm trying to do, but I can tell you the time signature that I'm playing actually is 5-4. So the concept here is that I was practicing one time and then I got a groove, 5-4, you know? So I heard that and I was like, okay, let me put some work into it. So I began to practice, dig, you know, dig deep and all of that. So I got a level that um, I'm looking for more. If you notice, as I was playing the groove, I was interchanging, I was doing some few things. You know, switching from, for example, there is a pause, cha, cha, three, four, five, and you're hearing something like the cha, 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 like six kind of triplet kind of feel. You know, so I played the five-four groove, you know, played it so well that I was looking for how can I convert this same groove Right, that is going on pause like this one, two, three, four, five. Trying to make it give me sort of, you know, like a three triplet kind of feel, you know, check it back, something like that, you know. So, uh, so I got another pattern. So, what happened inside the groove is that, or what I'm trying to achieve is that I want to keep the same, um, how will I put it now? I want to keep the same beat formation, but different feel. I don't know what, whether you, you, you get what I'm trying to say, right? I want to keep the same beat formation. I don't want to change anything from the kick to the snare and everything that's going on, but I still want to have, you know, a different kind of feel. So I came up with something, which, you know, I will tell you guys, I'll play later. So this concept basically is that I've noticed that many drummers doesn't know how to play uh, when you give them all time signatures, it, they find it very difficult to you know, express themselves. And you know, and and before I you know, go further, I want to really thank my mentor, uh, um, Papa Ray. You know, he's the one that is behind everything that I know. You know, coupled with the fact that I met some people, but he is the foundation. He built me to a level where, of course, I know that okay, from here I can pick myself up. So going back to the groove, so. I, I noticed that some drummers are having issues with that, so they can't really hold for long. If they play any other time signature, they look for a way just to run on speed and all of that. So the concept here is how to play time signature, right? Teaching this groove. So the groove I played is 5-4, right? But I converted the groove. I don't know if you can hear it, but I converted the groove into a triplet feel. So getting the triplet feel, so I, 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 I named it as 5-4 triplet feel that time. So I went to my mentor and we talked about it and he looked into the groove and it made me to understand that, oh boy, what you're doing here is 15-8. So I created a 5-4 groove, right? 5-4 groove to give me a triplet, the same beat formation, but different feel, right? So the second feel that I was playing is 15-8. How do I mean? I'll still play it one more time before I open the concept of you understanding time signature. So I was playing 5-4, which is, you have five quarter notes in a bar, right? I still want to keep that beat formation, but I want another feel. This one is giving me a steady pause. So, but the other one I got is now 
the same bit, oh, but differently, is if you hear it, the same bit, but different feel. So how do I mean by 15, 8? So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I begin to see each of the quarter notes as triplet. Right? Because the feel that is giving me is a triplet feel. Right? So you have 8, 8. One two three, 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 one two three. You might be wondering whether this is five four or something, or you are maybe you are thinking it's still five four. I will tell you that it's fifteen eight. And how do I mean? I have five quarter notes in the bar, but each of the quarter notes are playing triplet, which means that three times five is fifteen, and the note value of each of the notes running by triplet is eight note triplet. So I call it. 15 8 groove. All right. So I will demonstrate switching from the regular 5 4 feel with the pulse and the 15 8. All right. Then I'm going to teach you um, um, and the concept of understanding time signature. So um, I'll play 2 4, I'll play 3 4, I'll play 4 4, I'll play 5 4, I'll play 6 4, and I'll play 7 4. The idea of this is that I will play all of this time signature, but I'm not going to change my pulse. I will still maintain my pulse. But there is a secret to it. And the secret is, probably you might be looking for this online, or you will have to go after this. What I'm teaching you is not online, right? This concept is not online, all right? You can only get it here live in drum colors, all right? Thank you. So the concept is, one kick, one snare, one kick, one snare. All right? So you have two kick, two snare. All right? So I'm going to play from 2 4 to 7 4. Watch out. Let's play the groove. Fantastic. So let me quickly break it down. 2, 4, 3, 4, up to 7, 4. This is the secret. For those of you that really want to practice all time, this is the secret. So 2, 4, right? This is it. You hear that from 2 4 to 7 4. So, you guys, if you want to practice it, it's up to you, man. But I want to leave you with this whatever you want to do, do it with all your heart. Put yourself into it. All these things are very simple. Only if you can put your mind together. What most drummers are running away from is tasking your mind. So, use this opportunity. 
practice and explore. All right? Explore. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you very much. Thank you, drum cutters. Stay blessed.